Here's a boss fight. And Buck says I can just power right through you. Hand of the King. Yeah, this is pretty hard. Here's the deal with my newest addiction. Pick an item to start with, a bow and arrow, or a shield. I like the shield, because I get hurt a lot. And then dive our way into the dungeon, killing every enemy we find along the way, hoping to find some upgrades. And the occasional really big chest. Which gives me Sinew Slicer. 20 damage per second, blah blah blah. That gives me a special move that does that. I'm assuming that acts like a turret. Pay the tribute or pay 650 gold, I'll take it. Inflicts 10 damage, whatever. And whatever that was... I'll take. That was an infantry bow. Also a sarcophagus that I can rub and make electricity with but doesn't seem to do anything. And another one of these. This game's paying out. This is Frostblast. Freezes enemies in front of you. I'll take that and it's gonna replace my shield because who needs a shield anyway? And we'll see how it works on this guy. Pretty good. I like that because the enemies can't hurt me at that point. I did find something called the wolf trap. Throws two traps that immobilize enemies but I don't think I want it. What I do want is to spend $650 for this thing which gives me a choice. 15% damage with green items, 70% HP, you get the deal, we're going damage. 15% damage with red items like my sword, plus 65% HP. Brutality increased, and I love brutality. Whatever I just killed, dropped an infantry grenade. Quick to use, but not super powerful. Well, I don't want it then. If it's not outrageously powerful, I don't want it. That sword over there looks interesting, we'll get to that in just a moment after we kill him, and then this guy. I'm over here, dummy. Do you think it's worth it for a thousand dollars? It probably is. 161 DPS causes bleeding. Probably better than mine. It's very slightly better than mine. Finally found the shop. This run, I have the choice between three weapons. 266, uh, 479 damage per second, 661, or 394. I'm kind of liking this one just for the most damage. 661 inflicts a critical hit if the target is frozen. Conveniently for me, I can freeze this. Rough day. Oh, apparently I can kick stuff out of her. Look what I found. Can I have the sword too? Hit her again. She's dead. Yeah, I noticed. We got a broadsword. That's a blueprint. And whatever that is. Money. Found a new room. Order. An order stamped with a king's seal. And it just seemed to reward me with a bunch of gold. Did the books give me gold? Give me something. All right, well, the room with the desk gave me some gold. That's that. Now, at the end of the dungeon is where things get important. Because this, of course, is where you get your upgrades. And if you finish a dungeon within two minutes, you can go in that door for extra bonuses. And if you kill 30 enemies without taking damage, you can go through that door. I did neither of those things because I'm terrible at this. Now, as I'm going, I'm collecting cells. Cells are used for upgrades, things like the health flask too. The health potion can be used two times. Or recycling, transforms objects found on the ground or in chests into gold. And of course, also some weapons, ranger weapons, shields, a whole bunch of different stuff. But the interesting thing is the more we unlock, the more we get. That's a permanent upgrade. Unlocks a special shop in the prisoner's cells. There you'll find all sorts of rare and expensive oddities. The problem is we need to unlock 16 more items to do so. And my plan is more or less to do just that. As we already saw, if you can make it through the dungeon within two minutes, you get a whole bunch of extra cells you can use for upgrades. Plus visiting the next guy, you get a mutation. We're gonna go with combo for this one, 212 DPS for 8 seconds after killing an enemy. I do kill a lot of enemies. And then it's on to the next dungeon. And yes, they do get a lot harder as they go. Oh, this new hammer is very slow, but it hits very hard. So I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. But if guys are frozen, shouldn't be a big deal. For example, this one's frozen. Kablamo, he's dead. Usually it takes me a while to find a combination I like, but this one is money. Just found whatever this is. Frantic Sword. Rare Blueprint. That's the first rare one I found. Hopefully that's something good. Yet another scroll of power. Let's do more damage. 15% damage, 28% HP. Despite having a pretty powerful setup, I'm suddenly taking a lot of damage, but I can upgrade my Sinew Slicer, so that's something. I haven't even used that yet, really. That just throws a turret on the ground that attacks things. Might be helpful, but I'm pretty much one-shotting everything anyway, at least for now. Found the shop on this floor. It doesn't really have a lot of good stuff to offer me. That might be good. What do these do? Inflicts 10 damage. Kill 4% and makes you invulnerable. No thanks, I'd rather save my money for something useful. Found an elite enemy, or at least I did. By the time I hit the record button, he was already dead, but we found golden amulet. Minus 5% damage received. You know what? I kind of like that. That'll help keep me alive. Prisoner's collar. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that off. Oh, never mind. Minus 5% damage. I lost 23 cells. Moral of the story is, things hurt when they hit you, so we need some upgrades. So we're gonna do it all over again. Pick up our wooden shield, off we go. The difference is, I'm gonna run to the end of the dungeon. If I make it there within two minutes, you'll see what happens. 52 seconds, so I did it with over a minute to spare. We get to go in here. This rewards me with some gems worth all sorts of money, so that boosted me all the way up to 5470, plus 20 of these. Plus our choice of an ice grenade, four plus an amulet, 4 or Nutcracker 4+. Plus. Not that these upgrades right now are really a big deal. 
I mostly just wanted the 20 cells I got for doing that so quickly because now I can spend these on upgrades. Which makes me a little bit stronger every single time I do this. And then I start to unlock better and better stuff and then it can become more and more overpowered. Then I may or may not try it on a second dungeon depending how hard this is going to be. I think it can be done but if I feel like it's going to be too difficult I'll just restart and keep running the first dungeon. Again and again and again for as long as it takes to get some fun upgrades. Okay I made it about 10 seconds in. Maybe I'll keep to the first dungeon at least for now. And just like that I've run through the dungeon a million times. Unlocking a as much stuff as I could along the way and getting power ups. Now we can start with the broadsword 1, 273 DPS. Now this first dungeon I'm still mostly going to run through picking up what power ups I can find along the way, but I definitely do want those power ups that I get for doing this in under 2 minutes. Luckily I found the chest along the way, which is going to give me an ice grenade and this actually pauses the timer anyway. Plus one of these, not sure if this pauses the timer so we're just going to pick it really quick and move on. 30 seconds in. I did also find that there's some very rare items that spawn that are gold or colorless in color and they're way better than everything else so if I happen to find one of those that would be awesome. Awesome. And with a full minute to spare, we're done the first dungeon. As a reward, we have some not really great stuff. I'll take the electric whip, I guess, 370 damage per second, which is slightly better than what I'm using now. And I'm thinking for a mutation, this one saves you one time if you die prematurely. Well, to find prematurely, not a word I'm familiar with at all. Since I didn't really find a lot of good loot, I think I'm also going to try and run through this in record time. That way I get some good upgrades at the end. Then maybe we'll slow down for level 3 that I'm not as familiar with. I did find an elite undead archer who just hit me really... Okay, never mind. You know what? We're not going to worry about that guy. We'll deal with him on a slower run. Found another one of these. I don't really think I use much of either of those. 70% HP it is. And another one of these is I'm smashing my way through the dungeon for 50 more HP. Those are going to add up. Found another one of these. 2300 gold. Probably worth it more damage it is. That's a really big chest for obviously really good gear. Some kind of shield? I'll take it. Anything's better than what's not a shield. Apparently I found cursed treasure. I think that's what's up above me. So we're gonna see if we can get that. It does look pretty cursed to me. Hey you there, hit me. Okay fine, I'm gonna open it because I have a whip right now. If I wanted to be Wonder Woman, I would have played a Wonder Woman game. You've outraged your god. Just one little hit and you're dead. Eliminate 10 enemies to lift the curse. That probably wasn't a great choice in hindsight, but I did find these daggers. So we've got to kill 10 enemies now without getting touched or we're dead. I do have a free life though. Like if I get dead once, I'll come back to life once. I had 8 minutes to do that? I would have taken an extra 4 minutes to do that dungeon and I found more stuff. Anyways, the reward for doing that really fast is a shield, an amulet for damage reduction, two extra jumps in midair. Actually sounds kind of good to me. Infantry grenade, no, I want the extra jump. That's less damage taken. I just really don't, oh I guess I have different weapons now. I was using that whip and I didn't want to use the whip anymore. It wasn't good. And I think we're going to recover a little bit of HP when an enemy dies. That's going to be important for me. I'm going to kill a lot of enemies. I have to now. And apparently I need to do so without getting hit. 10 enemies, 0 damage. Normally this wouldn't be hard, but the extra pressure of that is going to make me screw up quite a bit. Plus, I don't really know what all these enemies do in this area, so I might get surprised by something. So far so good though, I've only got 5 left to kill. Archers are easy to kill, so I'm going to feast on these for sure. Only one creature left to kill, so let's go get this archer before anything else can hit me. There we go, no more curse. And I already forgot what we got in exchange for that curse. Oh, what are these things? Okay, let's get out of here. I'm glad I lifted the curse before running into these because I don't know what they do. I definitely missed my ability to freeze stuff. That was really nice. In combination with my big hammer I had earlier, that was a winning combination. Got an interesting survival perk. Recover 0.25% HP when an enemy dies. Yes, please. Are these stacking? I found another one. Recover 0.26. Hopefully they're stacking. I jumped off the other side and there's nothing down there. I just fell to my death. So I'm not going to jump off this side. I'm going to, ow, assume that there's something this way. I found another one of those bottomless holes. It didn't kill me, but it almost killed me. I don't know where the end of this dungeon is. And another one of these. I don't think these are stacking, so we're, I'm going to give myself just more damage. Finally found the end. Uh, a little bit curious as to... Never mind, it's just a teleporter. Moving on. Hopefully we beat the time thing again. Oh, there's no time thing anymore. Simply enemies without getting hurt. And I definitely took a lot of damage there. As for our next mutation, combo. 370 DPS for 8 seconds after killing an enemy. Been killing a lot of those lately. Give me some more potion and off we go. I'm thinking this is going to be a nightmare. A boss! At least what I assume is a boss. Hi, how's it going? I'm going to get behind you now. So far, so good. Just going to keep uh, moving. Uh, not going to touch him now. Red stuff. Good thing I have that extra jump. I forgot I have ice grenades. Whoops, I definitely missed. I haven't been practicing with them, as you may be able to guess. Ow, stop. Ice grenades are good and all, but they do take a while to recharge. Is that like 20 seconds? I guess I won't complain, it's just something I have that I don't need to use. I really expected the boss to do more damage, considering some of the regular enemies do a lot more than he does. Ow. He's starting to do different things now, like jump. Ow, okay, good. Gotta watch out for that. Now he's doing damage. This is more like the boss fight that I expected. I look over my recordings for one second. Okay, I healed up. Too late. And there we go. 
You gotta watch out. If he gets you in the wrong spot, it really puts you into a bad spot and you take tons of damage. I can pretty much just tank to him at this point, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Reward me with something good. Lots of those things. Gold? Is that all gold? Okay, cool. And then what do we got a choice of? What is this thing? Some kind of hammer? A recipe? Blueprint acquired. Flint. Unknown artifact. Cannot sell this item. Can I pick it up though? I would just, I would love to take it with me. Cannot sell this item. Okay, well, oh, okay, interesting. Now we can. And it is gone. Oh, challenger's rune. Permanent rune, daily challenge. Plus a better this thing and a bow that's actually pretty good. I've never really used a bow before, but I like my shield. But I can recycle my stuff. So there's 220 gold for that. This one counted because I made it here in under 15 minutes. No, not getting in that door. Take no damage in the previous level. Good luck with that. Our reward this far into the game, Bloodzord 6 plus for 564 damage per second, plus all that stuff. Golden amulet, uh, that has some cool side effects. And what is this one? Root grenade. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take the sword because I assume it's better than what I'm using now. Nope, no, it's not. That's 1103 damage per second. Hey, yeah, never mind. I don't want it. Uh, give me this one then. I was even able to recycle the old amulet for 1150 gold. My damage is getting up there. 1269 damage per second. Plus, it's about to be a little bit more. This is interesting. Investing cells permanently increases the drop rate of high quality items. Yes, please. 0% of the items will be a plus quality. I need more and more and more of that. 5%. 1 in 20 items plus quality. So, uh, you're probably not going to see as much of my business anymore thanks to your neighbor. And I'm not allowed to have any more mutations because I've hit the max. Give me some potion. Let's do it. I'm mostly just hoping my damage is pretty high. That way things can die pretty quickly. Kind of like the boss and that guy. Because I'm not really good at the game, but if I can kill things pretty quickly, I'll have a fighting chance. What do you suppose this is? Cross. Oh, hello. I'm in here now. Yeah, that's fine. I like this scenery better. Finally, I haven't seen one of these in forever. I don't really want to spend a lot of money on these things, but since I'm going to lose it all when I die anyway, I'm going to buy that. And then we'll see what else we can do. That was a thousand hit. Yep, my criticals are legitimately doing over a thousand damage now. Whoa, get out of there. Is this what I think it is? Village key. I don't care about the villagers. So what we need is more damage, plus 489 DPS for 8 seconds after killing an enemy. I just realized too that my health is all the way up to 3638. Ow. Okay, don't hit me. Secret discovered. Where did I discover a secret? Somewhere here? Did I break the wall? What happened? I found a secret, but I didn't. Maybe it's that I could get outside of whatever that is? I'm not really sure. Can I, can I make that jump? We're gonna try. Whoops. I meant to hit the sprint button, but there is no sprint button because I'm stupid. Uh-oh. We're good. They're just giving these things away. I'll take more damage. That means more good news for you guys. 1306 critical hit. My damage is going up so fast. The trick is to just keep killing things every 8 seconds or so. It's been a while since I found one of these too. What do we got? One of those. Do I need one of these? No, I really, really don't. I think I'm gonna like what's in this room. Honestly, so far, I'm not sure I do. It's just a lot of enemies. Ice Grenade 4 or this one. Is this better than mine? Can we take a look? Nope. Mine's actually way better because mine's Twin Draggers 3 plus plus. So we'll take a better Ice Bomb that I never use anyway. Right outside of that was this. So more damage, more HP, more DPS after killing enemies. So there's a 1500 critical hit. This looks a little bit ominous. That's okay. I do so much damage, I can get away with anything. Clock Tower. Oh man, I really wanted another. Well, fine. Can I uh, have the guy I like back? I don't want to spend my cells on you. This is new though. I work for the blacksmith. Oh, I wanted you on the other side of that guy. I could reforge the modifiers on this thing to try and make it better. If I had more gold, I could upgrade to S quality for 24,000. That's gotta be worth it. Should we try it? Am I gonna lose everything about this thing if I do this? Nope, it got 2,063 DPS. Can we try that again? It's pretty good though, isn't it? I've got money to spend. Oh, no, I don't. Well, 1930 DPS it is. On to the newest level. And I'm already stuck. Oh, we probably gotta go up here. Are there any enemies here? Oh, that's an enemy with lightsabers. That's okay. They've never seen... Whoa, damage as high as mine. Okay, I'm gonna back off from that a little bit because those things are fast. Right, enemies here are tough, but I do so much damage that once I get a critical hit on them, they're pretty much boned. Ow, stop. The enemies here are also a little bit trickier. They go back and forth during combos, so you can't just dodge and hit like I have been. But if I do land a quick critical hit, I can kill them. But if they get their combo going, it's really hard for me to get that off. Hello? Okay. Just another door to nowhere. Whoa. Let's go for, I don't know, maybe more damage because you can just never have too much damage. Now, the shopkeeper again, not really sure he's going to have everything for me. We're on to number seven for items, but I don't really want any of that. I think this is a new enemy. I'm not sure I've seen one of those before, but I killed him before I had a chance to find out what he does. That's my favorite way of dealing with enemies, plus this. This is going to be outrageous. 2,354 damage per second inflicts a critical hit if the enemy is facing me. And you know what? They're going to be facing me a lot. Really hope I'm not going to regret giving those up. 
You only have 430 to recycle? Those things are way overpowered. Let's give it a try. Hey, look at me. Or don't look at me. Either way, you're gonna die. Let's add more damage. This guy again? Got him. Something on the minimap here was showing up as a star, and I'm not really sure what it is. It was right about here, though. Oh, it's that guy. He's got a star on him. Why did he have a star on him? Upgrade your brutality tactic stat. All right. They're just handing out the damage now. I'm going to be doing so much damage, it, I'm going to break the game. Is this the end? It is not, but I found someone's meth lab. I really got to start remembering I have ice grenades because that. Just a trial of that thing. Well, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's certainly easier than me getting over there and doing it. But also... Just for fun. I can't go this way because I need the clockmaker's key, which could be anywhere on this enormous map. Even more damage, 1132 DPS after killing enemies. 18 free, what are they called? I'll take them, we're up to 34 now to spend on stuff. That's probably the clockmaker's key, isn't it? Ow. Ow. Wow, that does a lot of damage, but we got the key, which opens that door and up we go, hopefully to a boss fight or at the end of the level. Clock room. I have enough gold to upgrade my Vorpan 6, to S quality, which gives me 3580 DPS. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. 4097 DPS. Should we re-roll it? But enough for me. I am kind of amused how most of my gear isn't really great, but my frying pan is going to carry me through this. All that damage. I got an achievement, so I'm thinking this is going to be a boss fight. That's how you open a door. But now I also have to wait for my thing to recharge. The timekeeper. Cool name, bro. You're like being frozen? Whoops. Okay, he's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. Stop. Might need to make more use of all my weapons at my disposal because he's gonna do some damage. I definitely do some damage when I hit him, especially head on. Okay, let's get some healing in. Stop. Okay, oh, well, oh, we're healing. We're good. Let's finish this because we weren't trying to already. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I think I can tank right through him with my frying pan. Yeah, look at all that damage I'm doing. I'm chunking big. Froze him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a straight-up damage battle, I think I can win. And no, I don't really know what's going on myself, but he's almost dead. There we go. Beaten with a frying pan. This won't end well. Not for you. You just got defeated by an idiot with a frying pan. Okay, cool. You have beaten the timekeeper. That makes me a blade master, but it really shouldn't. Even the boy I pick up off the ground now is 2151 DPS. Is that a better ice grenade? It probably is. Actually, it's not. That can stay there. No, nope, better yet, we're going to recycle it. Also, I want this recipe on the ground. We're going to sell that for 480 and figure out what this is. Light speed. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Can I go in this door? Oh, man, they always do that. I would reforge that. Don't really want to. What does this guy got for me? Oh, right, this thing. Okay, well, let's get some more of these. 10% of the items found will be plus quality. I think I forgot to drink my potion or get it refilled. Yep, so that kind of sucks. I lost a quarter of a bar of health because of that and also refilling my thing. But we found this. His stuff is all better than mine. 4245 DPS. 4550 DPS, but I don't have the money for it. You know what? I'm sure we'll make do. I am unlocking lots of blueprints along the way, so that's hopefully going to turn into better and better gear every time I do this. These are the kind of items I want. The gold-colored ones. So as soon as I clear out the enemies, we're going to find out what that is. Hopefully it's a weapon. Then I can destroy everything. Ice bomb. Sorry about that, but I just really want that weapon. It looks like a shield. Is that a shield? Assault shield. It is gold quality. Absorbs 95% of projectile damage when held up. Critical is 20% damage. That's going to be huge extra damage. Yep, I'll take that. That's going over the shield I don't use now. Perfect. I use this. I'm unstoppable. Let's give it a try. Is it working? I think it kind of worked a bit. It stopped a lot of that damage because those guys hit hard. But also, just that extra critical damage is huge. Secret discovered. Oh, there's something in the wall. I see. Rare recipe? No nope. powerful grenade though. I like the sound of that. What's in here? You think there's something over there? Should I... Okay, there's a bunch of elites that are probably not going to be very easy to kill. Ice bomb. Aha, that's going to work out beautifully. Freezing and frying all at the same time. Opens a castle gate. Hopefully that's a good thing. Even more damage. What are we up to now? 4711 damage per second. A green door? Where does this go? Hey, look, another elite. Good thing I've got... Oh, my ice bombs aren't ready yet. Okay, hold that for now. That'll keep you going until I can get my bomb back. There we go. Oh, I didn't even freeze them. Fine. Whoa, okay, don't hit behind him. And he's dead, but I took a ton of damage doing that. Oh, I really wish I had my potions. I feel so dumb for forgetting that. And another one of these. Thank you for freezing. Now let's just go ahead and done. The term elite is thrown around so easily these days. You think it's this way? One key, two key, and I've got a third key. Where does this take me? We don't even need to go to that throne room because we can get all this stuff. Ooh, I like this room. I don't love this shield, so it's going to go away. We're gonna take this, of course, just so I can get a little more damage. And then this, called the Nutcracker, 
6550 damage per second, which is a full 1000 DPS higher than what we're using now. I don't get the critical hits if I'm facing an enemy, but I do do extra to frozen enemies. And then we're going to sell that. 650 gold. I'm not really sure how to get in there and get that, because I'm pretty sure there's spikes on the bottom of the pit. I'm not, not going to be able to jump that high, which is really a shame, because I'm sure that's really good, whatever it is. But we don't have time to figure that out. We have a mighty pink throne room to deal with. Lightspeed seems pretty good. Dash forward and inflict 842 damage to the enemies on the way. Plus I can increase my nutcracker to plus quality. So now it's up to how much? 7486 DPS. 7500 damage per second. While we're at it, let's also put my ice bombs up to better quality. That way it just gets, I don't know, more crazy and stuff. Can't do any more of those. Let's refill the potions this time and our health. Then we'll go crack some nuts in the throne room. So here's a boss fight. 10 bucks says I can just power right through you. Hand of the King. Yeah, this is pretty hard. Taking up pretty big chunks. He's doing damage to me for sure. Oh, let's get away from those. All right, this one's going to be a little bit more uh, challenging than I had thought. Definitely harder than the other ones were. Can I freeze him again? No. Yeah, he's doing more damage to me than I'm doing to him. That's for sure. Enemies. I didn't sign up for these. I want the boss fight. Oh, oh that's going to hurt. And he's back on the ground floor. Ow, doing a lot of damage. Can't really freeze him. That little turret thing's doing work though. Oh, okay. Okay, this guy I'm actually going to have to take more seriously as it turns out. Oh, heal. Okay, got the healing out. Okay, not even sure what's going on. There's so much noise and graphics and stuff. The worst part is I can't even freeze him. Like, even if I hit him with my bomb, it just slows him down for a second. Okay, we destroyed the little banners. Those are very adorable, by the way. Nice touch. And he's floating into the air again. That way I can kill these. These might actually give me healing, though, so that might be to my advantage. They did not give me healing. They just took most of my... No, I'm back. That was my one resurrection point that I got. I'm not feeling overly confident in this one. I did pretty good considering though. All I did was charge in and hit him. I thought I could tank through him. I couldn't. I felt like that was very loud. I was probably yelling that entire time. Well, my plan more or less worked. I started out with some good gear, made it all the way to the end. 